The Avengers from 2012. I'll watch it. This is the Joe watches a movie and then gives it a rating show. This was, is, always will be my favorite Marvel movie. Why, you ask? I don't know if you asked, but why? because it's the one that made me a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's the one that got me hooked, and it's the one that I have by far rewatched the most. Also, it's the one that found the correct Marvel formula. It's the one that, I don't wanna say perfected it, but at the time perfected it, I guess, especially when it came to the comedy, the action, everything. It, it just, it's what a Marvel movie, I think, was always supposed to be, and that's what we've been getting ever since, and I think everyone should thank this movie. I don't think writer and director Joss Whedon gets the credit he deserves, because he's the one who changed the game. Now, I've already talked about all of the cast and how perfect they've all been for the roles, but new addition, uh, Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner slash the Hulk, not the Incredible Hulk, but Hulk in this movie, was awesome. You know, I didn't mind Edward Norton in The Incredible Hulk. I thought he did a fine job, and he would have done probably a great job in this one and for the, all the other movies. But I much prefer Mark Ruffalo, which I've said before. He's so great in this movie and steals the show. I love how well everybody works off of each other and the banter that they all have. I mean, to me, it's obvious that everyone just enjoyed making this movie and all the movies and just had fun with each other. And the Avengers movies were something special because it was all these people coming together and you could tell they were having a blast. Plus, it's great to see more of Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury. He gets a lot of screen time here and he's always awesome. Uh, Clark Gregg is Agent Coulson. I love him. And even uh, newcomer Kobe Smulders as Maria Hill. Uh, that was a big surprise because I was a How I Met Your Mother fan. So I was like, oh shit, I didn't know. Okay, great. And you know, she's been a lot of them since and always great to see her. Making Loki the main villain I thought was fantastic. I heard originally it was going to be Thanos and thank God Joss Whedon didn't pull the trigger on that, especially because of all the movies we have now with Infinity War and Endgame and thank God. But Loki as the villain I thought was fantastic. Tom Hiddleston's great as always. Um, and I don't know, I just, I thought that was a brilliant move. And in my not so humble opinion, I thought he was the best villain out of all the MC MCU movies up to that point. I mean, there'd only been like six, but he was by far the best in the first phase of the MCU. Now, even though I praise the script, the script is awesome, the plot is weak. <laughs> it's, it's, it is very weak and there are probably a lot of plot holes and stuff that doesn't make sense. But who fucking cares? All I wanted, I think all that anybody wanted, was to be entertained by this movie. That's, this was the definition of a popcorn movie. All I wanted was the characters to finally meet up, have, you know, witty banner, fight the bad guys, fight each other, have some one-liners, kick ass, win, movie over. And that is exactly what we got. And to this day, it is just orgasmic. I mean, the last 40 minutes of action is still to this day so much fun to watch. Amazing, uh, just everything that you wanted from these heroes. You get to see everybody fight, the, all the good guys kicking ass and taking names, or taking ass and kicking names, however, and it's just, back then was something that we had never seen before, and it, it delivered, it over-delivered. This is the definition of a summer blockbuster, of, like I said earlier, like a popcorn flick, or whatever I said. It is just... It's exactly what you want when you go to the cinema to see a superhero movie. At the time, it was the greatest superhero movie ever made. I mean, I guess it depends on your preference, but to me, it was. It made me a fan of Marvel, it made me a fan of the MCU, it made me a fan of a lot of these superheroes that I never gave a shit about, even with the previous five movies. And... I love this movie! It's far from perfect, but it's not supposed to be. And no movie is perfect anyway especially a superhero movie. And I still think it's amazing, and people don't give this movie the credit it deserves, in my opinion, that it didn't just deliver on a promise that most people thought was impossible at the time, it over-delivered on that promise. And like I said, it, it found that Marvel formula 
that have made these movies great. Not just the Avengers movies, but all the movies where, you know, they got the comedy right, the action right, the characters right, rarely the villain right, and the Avengers was the first one to really do that. We finally got an Avengers movie, a superhero movie where a lot of heroes team up, big heroes team up, and it was amazing. And it still is. I give the first Avengers movie a Joe rating of 5 out of 5. Stay tuned for more movie reviews, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. That was the Joe watches a movie and then gives it a rating show. You know, I still have no idea what shawarma is. Like, I know it's a, it's a food. I just don't get it. Quiet on the set.